Hey, what's up guys? Big news, big updates, big events happening. So this is the time for V-Ray Report. guys so we're gonna start from checking out the events that happened and that are about to happen in bigger events as you know there was ultimate chaos in bulgaria you can watch the recording i want to post all the links below so you can follow up uh seagraph is coming up we're gonna review all of those uh cool things update two for very next and we're gonna overview some rtx graphic card uh real-time capabilities this is something really awesome um in general we're gonna check all the events that happening in the world some updates so let's start i'm gonna go to events of the cows group and as you see here they are in seoul actually today it's already running but in san petersburg where it's coming up really big uh event here with a lot of uh, people big crowd as you can see here everything related uh, computer graphic gaming career so if you in that area russia you are more than welcome to visit i wish i could go but i'm crazy busy with my other stuff and la happening also on the 30th uh, again i wish i could go there i love the animation film festival i was a big fan going there almost uh, every year um, but this time i have to pass so uh, if you're in LA, enjoy and say hi to Cows Group for me. Now, uh, the event that actually happened in Bulgaria was a big event called Total Cows. And they decided to spread it all around uh, and take it to um, LA and other places in the world. So um, it was a big uh, event very well organized beautiful screens a lot of cool information so you guys are more than welcome to uh, view this it's uh, was kind of eye-opener for what you can do uh, with uh, real-time graphics gpu i love the lecture about hdri so everything was pretty cool in this one it's a worth watching uh, very easy now regarding the rtx graphic card if you guys don't know, it's a new card that was released that can simulate crazy reflections, refractions, shading, amazing stuff. So I've bumped into this cool demo. This is all real time. So let's just take a moment and enjoy.
side, I still cannot believe this is not rendered. All right, this is all real time. That type of graphic you can get on RTX is just the same game, which being rendered real time because of that RTX graphic card with a much better realistic quality. That's it. Okay, so this is what you should get probably if you want to enjoy the quality of the graphics. Unfortunately, those that don't have it won't be able to get the whole scope and the whole experience of that photorealistic aspect. All right, so let's move forward. There's something very cool that's called V-Ray Scans, as you can see here. Uh, I've just started my trial version. I think it's uh, 30 or 60 days. And you can see a lot of cool materials. That it's all scanned, so it's very, very realistic. Um, it's not pictures from the internet. It's all really scanned, optimized, and worked out material. So in the future, I'm going to do some tests, and we're going to analyze some of those. But if you want to start working with them right now, you can just click Try, Download, and uh, give it a best shot. Okay? And if you want to have some extra more knowledge, I don't know if you're familiar, but people asking me where I can learn more, watch some webinar, something uh, fresh, new about those. So a lot of cool webinars here, Cows Group Resources webinars uh, for SketchUp. I mean, I think it's exterior. I think I'm going to do some uh, SketchUp stuff. If you do a SketchUp user and you're watching this, please comment below if you are interested in SketchUp training because I'm getting a lot of requests for uh, SketchUp training to be released. Okay, so those are for free. You guys are more than welcome to go ahead and watch it. Everything very professional. Now there is another event coming up called Architectural 3D Awards. That's from uh, CG Architect. As you can see, a lot of sponsors here. And they're actually taking the whole thing more towards Unreal Engine because you can see a lot of Unreal Engine stuff. That event will be happening in August. So you have some more time and 2D conference in uh, Austria, in Vienna. And um, again, a big gathering. You can see Maxon, Unreal Engine, uh, Dbox gonna be there, render people. So um, pretty cool conference for German folks. You know, it's uh, it's one of those places where you can feel the vibe when you get you know to know the industry people, exchange knowledge. I just love those. You know, if you get a chance, go ahead and visit. Okay, so. Uh, V-Ray Max Update 2. I actually got two documents to download with those. I can share it with you guys if you want. So what was uh, in this new update? We got workflow optimization, debugging for shading, so um, easily to isolate textures. In the IPR, IPR is interactive progressive rendering. It's basically live render, so you can rotate the camera and everything will get updated faster. Um, it used to lag with big scenes, but now it's got some optimization so you can work with larger. You can see that a really big uh, scale scene here, uh, shown as example. Now, what else we have in this update? We got GPU boost. So we can use uh, basically V-Ray distance texture to limit uh, how far we're going to render the quality. So we can say just, you know, just the front, the rest. Don't put much subdivisions on it. Uh, basically a game principle, like with, they do with games, everything that's at the background is uh, low quality. When you move forward, they loading and unloading more quality stuff. And that's based on the distance. So here we can also do the distance search for the GPU render and limit in order to get a little bit faster results. Uh, smart effects. So we get some cell shading effects. Uh, dust and scratches on the lens, and we get very tune shader. Uh, also, quickly cartoon. It's a cartoony thing. I, I kind of did with this a uh, few things. It, it looks like a sketch, like you did a sketch with your head when you use a tune shader. So uh, they have probably shading effects. In this presentation um, of Cow's group, they showing how they uh, were teaching artificial intelligence to take the render 
and make a hand pencil drawing with all the shades and everything and it looked very, very much like a hand drawing you know so I guess this is one of those things that they working with all right so go ahead watch this presentation the keynote is um, got a lot of cool stuff and what to expect what what is the future of Vray so if you are into the industry and really you want to know uh, what's going on and what to expect uh, you should follow up all the updates you know that's another uh, winner that's actually a winner from that CG architect here you see they got three hundred fifty six dollars of prizes I don't know if they still accepting uh, works for the competition because they're gonna choose a winner but uh, as you can see here this is the winner of 2018 and his picture got featured on the V-Ray 2 next update okay so uh, we have new cool models coming in and I was actually waiting for this for so long and I'm so happy that Evermotion released this New York uh, type of series I had a lot of work very similar in Kansas City uh, New York San Francisco they all have that pretty much similar um, you know structure of a building and what's cool about it that those buildings are so easy to modify you have the textures they all made in a substance painter so you can really quickly change the how your building how the textures on the building look and um, you know get a new uh, if you want to change brick to something like white because San Francisco has less red brick like New York you can completely change the whole look of a building but you know have the same structure okay so this is a cool thing if you guys are not familiar with Evermotion here's a bro science tip what I do every morning when I get my coffee and I get on, come to the computer you know I want to get inspired and that's the first thing that I do I look into uh, Evermotion and I go to forum and I just browse through those amazing works that people create all over the world and they always get to the front page of Evermotion and here I can get my inspiration you know we work in the industry that requires a lot of creativity and in order to stay creative you gotta you know get inspired all the time so you will not feel like you overburned you know you want to work on your stuff you know and that power that will to keep working and going comes from seeing beautiful stuff inspiring stuff you know and I can find a lot of that stuff uh, right here on the Evermotion front page you know many beautiful uh, works of people posting those here all right so uh, go get inspired check this out check those works Ever motion big hand to you guys now let's see what we've got in our survey we did post a survey on our front page and I asked what you guys want tropical island exterior with unreal or V-Ray next all functions and features light version no practice scenes and uh, in the results we can see that most people want V-Ray next all functions and features again not many people took the survey but we can see the majority uh, really looking forward for that very next training so that we're going to do I already recorded and released that training and next week I'm gonna do some promotion for all of those that subscribe to this new letter I really want to thank you for following so next week you're gonna have that with a big discount code now what we can expect in the future as you guys know I was a little bit busy during the last three years and there was a particular reason for that first I was working on a very big project uh, that was designing and redesigning and I'm gonna talk about it in the next upcoming tutorials uh, you can see the quality is pretty good here it's all made with forest pack and some ivy so the quality is, is really there and I'm gonna talk about those cool things that can boost your renders stuff like the swim pool I know I promised to get a tutorial and to show you how I actually did the uh, the water and the waterfall uh, it's not all Phoenix just that part and the back 
Uh, the front of the pool I used um, I used displacement because I didn't really know how to balance the whole thing. I'm still working and learning, but a lot of cool things I did examine and tested. And um, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about how to achieve that type of quality in your renderings. And I'm going to uh, add some extras like fire, water, and we're going to talk about those. You can see that fire effect here. I was working on that chimney, which came out pretty good. You know, Phoenix does the job. I really love uh, playing around with Phoenix. So the upcoming tutorial is going to be uh, the fire, the water. I'm going to couple, couple of those and we'll see if you guys like it. I'm going to release a full training. Um, so we're going to do a couple of surveys on that subject, you know, but um, that fire is just something very amazing. Um, to see happening, you know, in your 3D renders. It's not just you paste some PNG images, you know, it's something that you can work with. And frankly speaking, that project was a little bit complicated to do because as you can see here, I have that scene and then I have the scene outside. So I have to balance all the light everywhere in order to have multiple cameras rendering, you know, having changes but not any changes within the light. So the light had to be balanced everywhere. And I discovered a couple of cool techniques in order to do that. And I'm gonna talk about how to handle those big projects, how to load assets into one scene where you have the master file with a bunch of proxies, uh, trees, all that stuff that comes together into the one rendering scene. Okay, so we're gonna explore all of that stuff. I hope you guys uh, we'll enjoy those uh, So stay tuned follow up. We're gonna do a lot of that stuff. Hi guys So those are the good news I'm going to have now way more time because I finished working on a big project I also finished animation school animation mentor. I took three years on my spare time just on the weekends I was working and doing and learning character animation so I can boost myself up and get better projects more professional projects and I can personalize those characters in the 3d world that means i can do anything any talk conversation tennis players billiard anything you name it you know so here's my short demo reel it's only 30 seconds but it's cool welcome nick I am Tyrion, son of Tywin of Clan Lannister. How would you like to die, Tyrion, son of Tywin? All right, so this is show you that the learning never stops. Even though if you're professional with 15 years in architecture, you can always learn something new, something that can add to your assets, to your qualifications, to your big growing career opportunities and the architectural visualization industry all right so thanks a lot for watching this post your comments below anything you want me to explore i'll be more than glad to answer you and put it in my to-do list thanks for watching this is alex your very guy talk soon ciao